What's happening guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts. Here to start something new. Yes, um, I'm re going to be reacting to Zoids. Uh, thanks to a new Patreon uh, request. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, this is a brand new slot as well. Um, pretty much I invented this slot because, well, I wanted to kind of also challenge myself because, uh, well, Zoids is like 67 episodes. And yes, I plan on reacting to the entire thing. <laughs> Who knows how long this is going to take me, especially if I do one episode a day. I'm hoping it might, might be a week or two, but we'll see. But my plan in the end is to do multiple reactions to zoids so i'm going to start off slow so the first, i'm only going to be doing the first episode tonight and then probably uh once uh one uh one episode a day so this week i'm doing pretty much just seasonals and zoids i'm not going to be doing any overlord or um little witch academia i'll be back going back to those next week so i'm going to uh, mix it up each week so that each get a fair uh, chance, pretty much. Um, but anyway, starting, we're starting this week off with uh, Zoids, episode one. It's from, I believe, 1999, 2000, I think. So this is actually one of the very first uh, reaction series that I've done to a very old... Uh, show now i don't know i know pretty much nothing else of zoids besides that i th think it's a mecha show not a hundred percent sure um and i think i did read this the synopsis for this but i honestly no i say no sorry i lie i read the synopsis of the sequel one the sequel series to zoid so what's also kind of hilarious is that um again my fellow reactor uh and friend lar games also known as now known as lar videos because he's lost his channel a few times but anyway he's actually at the moment uh been asked through patreon to do um zoid's uh What's it called? Like Zoid's New Frontier or something like that? Let me just quickly... I can probably find out. Zoid's... Um, this one? Yeah, Zoid's New Century. That's the one that he's, he's reacting to. And I'm doing, as you can see here, the original Zoid's. So... Oops. This is going to be quite a bit of fun, well, I'm hoping anyway. So I think, honestly, without further ado, we should uh, jump into the first episode. And this is probably going to be the uh, intro sequence. I had, honestly, I had trouble tracking this down. <laughs> um, in fact, uh, the first 13 episodes, I had to find another link for another torrent for because um the one that i downloaded originally only had uh the series in dub and uh i was i know with uh this show i could possibly do it in dub now that i've got sound again so but i thought you know to keep up with everything else i'll continue to do it in sub because Honestly, these days, dub for me is kind of a, I can't really do it anymore. Like it just grates on me a bit too much. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let us jump into the first episode of uh, Zoids uh, in three, two, one. Oops, sorry, right, wrong thing. In three, two, one. Yeah, as I said, starting with the OP. Because I don't mind watching the OP. 
Hmm. That a robot um dinosaur? Hmm. Interesting. I'm curious to know because as I said, I'm pretty sure there's mechs in this, and that looks like a mech to me. That is, yeah, that's clearly a dinosaur mech. And the other thing I've actually seen recently is like a top, what was it, like a top 100 uh, anime theme OPs from uh, the 80s and 90s. And Zoids was actually one of the uh, uh, themes. So this is considered like one of the best OPs of the 90s. I'm really surprised I never saw this show growing up. And see, in fact, I grew up in an era with Digimon, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. I'm surprised this didn't air. Unless I missed it at some point. Planet Z, okay. That's a lot of sand. So this is maybe a sand planet? Oh, wow. And they are, okay, it's called a, and obviously it's called a Zoid, all right. Looks like some sort of, uh, looks like a scorpion. Like a Zoid. And I'm assuming this is our main protagonist. That is really cool, I have to say, the way that, uh, it's like a sand, um, a boy from Planet Z, okay. And definitely tell, well, one thing I can definitely already notice is that the, uh, CGI hasn't aged well. <laughs> it's not, a uh, wild, it seems. Yeah, that's not a wild zone. <laughs> nice uh, save there. Otherwise, it would have been face planted the uh, the sand. This is honestly it makes me think of uh, Star Wars a little bit, or maybe even like June. Oh wow, that! So you can uh, fly or uh, fly up um. The wall. Hmm. What's his plan here? To, if he keeps attacking it, like... Yeah, and he's just pretty much because it's a, he's a rookie. He's showing up, uh, showing up to show like he can actually control the Zoid, as he said. That's what I've gotten so far. That guy on the left, this guy, has an interesting design on him. What is that like uh, thing around his uh, face? It's like um. So, almost like sunscreen, but I don't think it's, or sunblock, I don't think it's that though.
And of course he's laughing. Okay, I look kind of like that with the subtitles. Guy sack. You're calling somebody you just met a loser. Hmm. Oh, it's come loose. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. It's going. Yeah, this is what happens when you blindly shoot at something, especially a, like a massive. Uh, well, wall or mountain. Yeah, running away from like an explosion like that, that's um, not going to end well. But uh, since he's, you know, the protagonist, he'll be fine. I can't get over that uh, CGI though. That is. So this guy's name is Bull. They've obviously been uh, working together for quite some time because in the fact that he, they're always he's always causing Bull's always causing them uh, trouble. Yeah, so your sandboard's completely wrecked. Previous war, huh? And you just assume that this place is going to have parts. That's probably stretching it a little bit. It was buried under the sand. And that's already been raided. How? Sure, maybe it before it like disappeared underneath the sand there, and there were people there. Sure, okay, maybe then it could be raided. Who are these three? They have Zoids. And why are they chasing after him anyway? Was he just because he was there or what? I'm sure these questions will be answered at some point. He's going to run into a Zoid, isn't he? It's going to be his Zoid. Let's destroy this building, you know. This, uh, relic of the past. Guy sack. What's... I still don't know what that is. Is that the backpack on his back? That sounds about right. Oh, some sort of hidden passage, judging by the wall. Hmm, definitely looks like a hidden pad passage. Damn, that door must be very... Um, it must be very strong, or that wall is just incredibly weak. A door should be incredibly weak. Uh, really, the power still works after all this time? Mind you, I don't know how long this previous war was that they brought up, that he brought up. So it could only have been like, I don't know, months to a year, a couple of years since the, that wall. Bam, okay. Maria, okay. Oh, 
I'm assuming. Yeah. So Van is our name of our protagonist. Okay. Of course, this show has a priest. <laughs> Hmm. Is that a band-aid on the cheek? Hmm. That's rare to see a wild Zoid these days. Hmm, okay. So, Zoids have been around for quite a while then. If they've been integrated into, like, society. If it looks like a Zoid, then it has to be a Zoid, right? And he's found the button. Of course he find, finds the button to activate it. And this thing's just been, you know, sitting in here for like a, quite a while, it seems. And he just walks in and activates it. No biggie. Okay. Standard protagonist uh, thinking. Oh wow, the, even the transitions. <laughs> transitions are very 90s. Well, that's one way to break out of uh, its uh, lab thing. Well, I've never seen a Zoid before, so how would I know how they're born? And if they are born, how do they, how does that work? Already first episode, I've got so many questions. And they're just like treating it like you should know this already. I guess it's part of the, exp uh, again, the expedition? No, not expedition, what I'm talking about. Well, this is the thing from the OP, so this must be his Zoid. And he's my actually he's got a bit of the red thing on. Is it a mark or something like like paint? Van, I have to remember that van. Should be easy to remember. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Oh, they're going to get along very well then. Yeah, just invite this thing you've just, that's just, you know, hatched. And back to your home. No biggie. Bites his hand off. <laughs> oh, no, that. This guy is back. You really know? You're a rookie too, remember? Yeah, just hand it over, no be. Ooh. 
Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Its name is Sick. He's already named it. Unless it, that's really a, is its name and he somehow knows it already. I'm just assuming he named it. Yeah, that's some hit. I'm assuming Zig is going to be very, very powerful compared to this um, other thing, this other Zoid. Oh, not making you look like a full trice. <laughs> and now Sig's going to save him. Yep. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oof. Yeah, that's... Oh yes, the cliche of... You know, the character just staring there watching somebody get attacked and not doing anything. I really must... As, it sounds like I'm just ripping into the show so far. I apologize for that. I'm not actually doing that. I'm just making... Yeah, you just woke him up and just expected him to, you know, attack this thing. Of course, it's going. To, Zig's going to stand back up and try attacking again. Well, it's a challenge now. Oh, he saw his dad's death. All right, so I already got a bit of his backstory. Huh. Rockets? Rockets. This thing's got rockets. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's a bit unexpected. A new type of Zoid, too. Is it really? I guess that's the first time they've ever seen it, so... Hmm. Some, it's obviously a vehicle of some type, but is it a tank? A train vehicle? Oh, okay. Okay, yep, yeah, now he's officially got his own Zoid. Shield Liger, alright, I'm assuming that's the name of it. He's going to control it just fine. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot more uh, nifty than their ones, it seems. It's a lot faster, too.
I'm again, I'm assuming we're going to learn more about these characters later on. And the, all their backstories and stuff. It is only the first episode. <laughs> he is very happy to finally have a Zoid of his own. Did he just pass out? Again, did he just name it Zig, or is it is its actual name? Hmm. There was another... There's another thing there. Maybe. And this time he's actually using a computer to wake it up. Rather than, you know, just touching a the button on the side. That's going to do What's it going to do? What is... What is that? It's... Clearly a girl Zoid. Of course, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Interesting start. I feel like I was made, honestly, I, I feel like I should apologize because <laughs> I feel like I was making more fun of the episode than actually reacting to it. But yeah, it looks like he's woken up Zig's sister, I take it. So let's see, we've got Zig, the Zoid. We have Van, our main protagonist. We have Maria, his sister. Um, we're probably gonna be introduced to, we're gonna find out who this uh, Zoid chick is next episode. Um, there's the, was it? Bam, the the other the guy that that was attacking Van for no reason. Yeah, I probably don't need to see the uh, oops, the um, op. Sorry, the uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's been a while. Um, preview. That's it. The preview for the next episode. I probably don't need to see that. But yeah, interesting start um, to Zoids. Yeah, I th again, I think I was a bit too harsh <laughs> this episode, especially, uh, well, with the first episode. See, in fact, again, this is 67 episodes. So this is gonna be one of those shows in which it's going to take a while for us to really get into it and learn everything. It's just one, I guess, I, it's, there's a complaint, really, a small complaint, is that, and it has something to do probably with the era this was made in, but yeah, it, it was pretty much, it's pretty much like a hook episode, so it introduces you to some of the characters, so our main protagonist, um, Van, um, his sister, and whoever these, uh, other three guys are, who are, but it doesn't explain, yeah, it doesn't explain what was, why, well, it did explain why Van was out in the desert, because he was looking for his own um, Zoid, but it doesn't explain, well, again, I'm assuming this is going to come up later on in the show, but it doesn't, and we'll probably call back to it later on, but for the time being, we don't know why Bam and the other two were attacking him uh, because it just seemed like there was no real reason for that. Um, only that, according to Bam, Bam is a loser. 
and needed to be uh, taken care of. Hmm, Rev Maria and uh, that uh, priest guy were uh, in the cemetery. It was all green and lush while, you know, Van was out in the desert area. Um, one does, makes me wonder like how big this plant is. Um, and like, uh, oh, what's, I hate it when I can't think of something, when I trying to des describe something and I can't think of how to describe it. Um, like how surely the cemetery area is part of the town that, uh, Van and Maria live in. So obviously it's got to have some greenery, some, uh, trees, you know, place, just a place for where he, uh, sorry, where they live. So it's almost like the desert is like the Badlands, like they mentioned some sort of war. So how long ago was this war? Um, that clearly the building or, uh, temple or whatever it was, lab, um, had been abandoned for some time, yet the power still worked. So, and considering the fact, again, like the sand had like covered up the entryway and it was only after, you know, the place was blown up a bit uh, that uh, the entryway was uh, cleared away and uh, Van could get into the uh, entryway and find some uh, supplies and other stuff and find, uh, you know, Zeke the Zoid. I guess Zeke is more of a Velociraptor than a T-Rex. I'm not 100% sure which one it is. It's either a T-Rex or, or a Velociraptor. Um... Be a bit of mixed actually. So I'm mean, from what I've gathered so far, each Zoid has um like a different design. So we've seen so far like to one like the other two guys that we can get the names of, their Zoids seem to be like I don't know cats, while uh this I think it's Bam. I could be. I'm sorry. I could. He's saying his name wrong. Um, his one is uh, Scorpion. And of course, uh, Zeke's... Sorry. Um, Van is... Van's uh, Zoid is a uh, Velociraptor. So, I'm very curious to see where we go from here. I'm hoping, as I said, I'm hoping to do... Um, an episode a day for Zoids until, for the time being. And then later on, I'm hoping down the track anyway, to do multiple episodes a day for Zoids because again, it's quite a long series, but this is also the very first, uh, full show, um, that's going to be part of, you know, my new setup with, uh, audio and sound. Um, Audio and sound are the same thing as Oliver. Um, visual and and audio. So, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm rambling a little bit now. So I will leave it there. Let me know your thoughts of this episode in the YouTube comments. Um, again, I hope I didn't sound too... Um, well, mean <laughs> to, towards this episode. It really was not honestly not my intention. But I could honestly just couldn't help myself because it was just a little bit ridiculous, that's all. But anyway, I will see you hopefully tomorrow for some more reactions. I've got a fruits basket to do and the next episode of Zoids. So till then, guys, have a good day as always. Bye.